In this video, I wanna talk about three things that you can do right now that will make you better at math. So the first thing that you can do right now to start getting better at math is to actually make a schedule. Now, I have a hard time myself with making schedules, so here's how I do it. The number one rule I follow is make a schedule that you can keep. It's like when people do workout programs, they always say, the best workout routine is the one you can stick to, right? So, because if you don't go to the gym and you don't work out, then you're not gonna work out. The same is true in mathematics. If you make a schedule and you don't do it because it's too much or you have too much in your schedule and you can never fit in that study time for that Calc 1 class or whatever class you're taking, then it's no good. The best math schedule you can make is the one that you can actually keep, the one you can actually follow. This is why I think when you make your schedule, it's really, really important to make a schedule that's actually reasonable. So if you're working a full-time job and you have like a significant other and you have other responsibilities and you're taking four classes, that's a whole nother issue. You need to like scale something back there and really figure out how you're going to make things work. Remember, there are only so many hours in a day Every single human being on this planet has the same number of time in the day. There are 24 hours in a day. So it's all about how you use those hours of your time to benefit your life and the lives of those around you. So when you make your schedule, just be very aware of all your responsibilities. And again, the best schedule you can make to study is the schedule you can keep. The second thing you can do to become better at math right now is to adopt what I like to call a just do it mentality. Maybe it's that old Nike slogan, the whole just do it, but it worked on me. I was completely influenced by those commercials. Sometimes when I have to work on something for either work, maybe I'm making a test, or maybe I have grading to do, or I have other things to do for my job, or maybe I want to read a math book, and I just don't feel like doing it for whatever reason, maybe I want to do something else. I tell myself, hey, maybe I should just do it. And whenever I do that and I get over that initial hump, I feel so much better after I've done it. So this kind of contradicts the first thing you could do to get good at math. But I really do believe in schedules, but at the same time, you should also do math when you're inspired. And so if you feel like doing math, you should take that, that just do it mentality and just jump into it and do it. The third thing you can do to get better at math right now is to go on the internet and just buy a bunch of books. Now, I know lots of people are fans of like PDFs and all of that stuff. That's okay. I, I personally think it's better to have a physical copy of the book. There is something about having something physical that you can touch that makes it easier to relate to. And believe me, I am a computer person. I have been on the internet for years. I mean, I have a YouTube channel. I love the internet, but I still believe in old fashioned books. Again, something about having the physical copy in your hand. Now, if you can't get books because maybe you can't afford them or something, it's okay. Thankfully, thanks to the internet, we do have PDFs and you can get tons of free eBooks on the internet for free. But gather as many books as you can, either download tons of them from the internet or go out and buy a bunch of used ones on the internet. The more math books you have, the better it is. Now, some people will say, oh, you know, one book is enough, or this is the only book you need for this. That's fine, let those people say that. I'm sorry, but I don't agree. I think it's better to have more than one book. I don't know about you, but I've been in the situation where I'm reading a math book, and I'll read a paragraph, and I'll read it like three times, and I won't understand it, and then I'll walk away, and I'll come back the next day, and I'll read it two more times, and I still don't understand it. Then a week later, I'll tell myself, okay, maybe I'll read it now. <laughs> maybe I'll understand it now, and I'll read it again, and I still don't understand it. That problem can be solved by having an alternate explanation. If you have another book with another explanation, maybe the material is presented in a better way. There is no one great book. Not all books are created equal, but there is no book that is better than all of the other books. In general, there are like some top books that you should get, but 
I always think it's better to have as many books as possible. One book might discuss, you know, linear algebra better than another book. Another book might discuss complex variables better than another book. One book might talk about, you know, Darbu sums in a better way than another book. Uh, another book might explain the derivative better than another book. So different books on the same topic are worth it. It is worth having more than one resource simply for alternate explanations. Also, no one likes to read the same thing over and over again. It's boring. Math is not supposed to be boring. Math is supposed to be fun. Those are three things that can make you better at math right now. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.